Are we ready to move or we wanna... Why, why are we moving? We're gonna go sit down and eat this sucker. Well, <laughs> or not. We can eat it right here. Hey, welcome to Barber Q&A. We're here with Isaac Toops from Toops Meadery in New Orleans, Louisiana, as well as South. Toops South. Toops South. And then we're here with a uh, beautiful duck who's taking a bath. Now, what's in this bath here? It's, it's a brine, a, a salty bath. So, uh -huh. brown sugar, yeah. salt, uh -huh. black peppercorns, bay leaves. Very okay. simple, very easy going. Okay. It bathes in there for 28 to 48 hours. Salt is the vehicle into the meat, yep. penetrating the salt, and it's going to take whatever is going with it, with it. Okay. So, it's got sugar in it, uh -huh. the black peppercorns, and the bay uh -huh. leaves, you all pump it with flavor, which is essential because we're essentially overcooking the breast. And normally that would be tough It'd be bad. and chewy, yes. but this is going to come out actually, it's going to be really moist and really tender. This is a little different, I think, for a lot of folks. It's really fun to smoke a whole duck because not only do you get to smoke the whole duck, you look real cool doing it. And as far as barbecue definition, mm -hmm. I, I've defined barbecue as meat cooked over hardwood. Yes, so no, this, absolutely. This still is barbecue. 100%. We're not oh, lying for sure. to anybody. For sure. Call Aaron Franklin. Now you mentioned your dad. Where, where, tell me where you're from. I'm not even going to try to say it because I'm going to mess it up again. I'm from Rain, Louisiana. Rain, Louisiana. Born and raised there by a, a, a prairie Cajun, my mother and a See, that's a Cajun. new term to me, prairie Cajun. Mm -hmm. I have not heard that. There's two types of land in Cajun country. Uh -huh. There's the swamp, which everybody knows, oysters and crabs, yeah, fish absolutely. and crawfish. And then my mother from Oakdale, Louisiana, not landlocked because they have rivers and tributaries and whatnot, uh -huh. but that's where the, the pig roast Right. The, a lot of the, right. the rice dishes, the cochon delays. Not saying not landlocked. Not landlocked. Somewhat just in more of the land. All right, we'll take our duck and just remove the big uh, black peppercorns. Let it drip dry. Now, you could, if, if if you had time, air dry this duck for a day, and it would be even better. But then it's a three-day duck, and not everybody's got time uh, for the three-day three day duck. duck. Yeah. 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 Toss them. Okay. We'll toss them in our bowl right here, and we right. got a little. A little tamari, and again, this is just a kind of a high-end soy sauce. You can tell what dip your finger in it. Yeah, yeah. It really coats. A little more viscous. We got a little brown sugar, okay. and we're just gonna kind of crumble that on. Just uh, give it a good rub down. Nice. Now, let's give it a good rub down. Massage. You ever massage your duck? There's no joke on the end of that. They're just, you know. Just a massage just, duck. Just massage okay. duck. Everybody in my family cooks. Yes. In fact, when I would go to other people's houses and ask, like, whoa, what did, what does your mom cook? Well, mom does cook. I'm like, How's that possible? What does your dad cook? Yeah. He doesn't cook. What do you eat? Yeah. You don't even notice it growing up. When you're it's, it's when you're growing up, life. it's just part of life. Oh yeah. yeah, we're gonna make some gumbo today, and I'll go shuck some oysters out in the back. Yeah. And it wasn't a big yeah. deal. Yeah, we're gonna roast a pig today. No big deal. I realize now why I love the culinary adventures. I love to chase the flavors. Sure. That's sure. that's the whole vibe of uh, my book coming out, chasing the gator. Chasing the gator. I'm right, the gator. Right. You're the and gator. I'm okay. chasing the flavors. So. We massaged it. It's ready to go. Let's get this sucker on some heat, huh? Let's do that. All right. Grab him by the wings. I love it. And I like to put a little indirect heat. Okay. Now, okay. there's no trussing involved because this is going to cook so low and so slow okay. that all that heat is going to just gradually get into it. That makes perfect sense. So an intense heat, this duck would kind of splay out because it would be almost, it would almost like shock it. More importantly, it would burn. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, with, the yeah brown sugar, that. with the brown sugar and the brine and the brown sugar on the rub, you, you try to roast this off at too high of a temperature, you're going to have a burnt duck. Oh. I remember the first time I did a, a smoked duck like this, I was with one of my uncles. I can't remember which one. And we were sitting there. We had just shot some ducks. We yeah. come in. We cleaned them. I was really young. He comes in. He's like, okay, uh, Isaac, we're going um, to rub this duck down with some... Uh, I was young, but I could tell. I was like, just making this up. He's like, we're going to rub <laughs> it down with some soy sauce and some brown sugar and pepper. And stuff it with turnips. And he looks at me and goes, you think that'll work? I'm sure hunting was a huge part of part of your grow upbringing, maybe. Just a absolutely. Right? Responsible hunting. Responsible sure, of course, hunting. yeah, and there's I'm, a difference. I'm, I'm That's always, good. I'm always prone to say that, you know, we like to cut loose and get, and get drunk and do other things, but not yeah. around the guns. And duck hunting's fun because you can have a buddy. Yep. You can cut up a little bit, mm -hmm. and you get to pull the trigger a lot. Observe Mother Nature and then blow her out the sky. <laughs> I'm starting to really smell this duck. Should we take oh, a look? I, I don't, you know, if, if you're looking, you ain't cooking. That's right. Well, That's I, right. But I think we can give it a peek. Oh. Oh, man. Would you look at that? Wow. I think that looks good. No, and you from can that. tell this duck is done. 
if the leg gets loose, you get the loose leg and then the meat kind of comes up. Yeah, that, yeah. That, that's how you know this guy's done. So uh, I'll tell you what, why don't we get this thing off and sure I'm, thing. I'm, I'm dying to taste it. You got a pair of tongs? I'm not grabbing it. You know what? Uh, Here we go. I don't think we do. Yeah, there it is. Look at that. All right, I'll sacrifice this left hand. You grab the platter. Let's I'll grab it. the duck. Come on, everybody. We'll Let's get Wow! <laughs> <laughs> nice. I only burned a little bit. Oh, <laughs> coming in hot. Real hot. And go. sharp. Oh, my First God. First bite to you. that. I'll go for a wing. Oh, yeah. Not hey, bad. No, it is delicious. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't we go sit down, slice this thing up, and, and, and keep talking? Proper style? Proper style. You got drink? We can make that happen. All right. Absolutely. Let's go. So we're here, this beautiful duck. It is nice and ready. Jennifer Cole is here with us, my old friend and colleague from Hi. Southern Living. Let's get into that duck here while, while we, while we chit-chat. Look at that, full yeah. service. Nice. Oh, yes. Oh, pinkies up. With the, with the book, you know, it's much more than a cookbook. It's my story. Yes. It's, it's my story specifically. And it delves into kind of the generalizations about what Cajun cuisine is. You gotta remember, Cajun, Cajun culture is a culture of immigrants. It was evolving as we traveled here from Nova Scotia, from France. When we got here, we adopted the other backgrounds, the Native American influences, the Mexican influences, and of course, the Creoles and the Cajuns. We've been melding for 300 years. Now it's being mixed with Vietnamese culture. Now it's being mixed with Caribbean culture. You know, you have all these influences, and you you pick and you choose, and you're like, oh, that's cool, let's, let's do that. Oh, let, that's cool, let's do that. Did you have any kind of like, I don't know, like, rituals or things that were always kind of in, in place that make Isaac Cook and Isaac Cooking. Aggressive seasoning. More importantly, intensity of flavor. Brown sugar on the duck, brown sugar inside the brine. Yep. Intensity of flavor. Lots yep. of pepper, lots of lots of seasoning, aggression. When we were working on the book, he nearly killed me because he was like, what, what do you mean I have to measure everything? We were cooking with his dad um, oh. in rain and his dad was making, I don't know, it was a seafood, uh, seafood stew, seafood gumbo. Yeah. And he was, you know, just throwing things in, and and Isaac goes, "No, Dad, Daddy, we're gonna have to stop. We're gonna have to measure that." He was like, "I don't know how much goes in here," <laughs> and so he was like, "Okay, you just shake how much you think feels right, and I'm gonna catch it." Right. <laughs> and that's literally he just and caught it. Glass. Little, like, like, the, and then you and measure it out. And then we pour it out and measure yeah. it. I just really like using this knife and eating <laughs> your, your delicious duck. Yeah. Which I mean. It's so good. You're right, the skin's it's the best so, part. The, the skin the is the part. best part. And the fat underneath mm -hmm. it. Yeah. You know what? How's that breast for being well done? It's I still mean, tender. It's so tender and juicy. And juicy. That's I took your a little, brine, right? That's I the brine. A, yeah. That's, the brine. That's why the brine is necessary. It's one of the first things I, I teach people who have never cooked and want to know the secrets. Learn how to brine a chicken, learn how to brine meats. It'll make all those things instantly better and a lot less easier to F up. I mean, <laughs> this surprised me, but it didn't surprise me. After, after going there, I was like, okay, okay. You, you know how it is? I, I say it all the time. I, I don't take myself too seriously, but I take my food extremely Extreme seriously. Hey, well, it, it comes through. I mean, this is a delicious, serious duck. Thank you guys for being here. It was great. Thank you. Barbara King with you. Thank Jennifer, you, it's great to see you. Check out the book, Chasing the Gator, Isaac Toops. See you. Bye. Yeah, cheers. Well, we could get to the term piss poor when they used to have to save the urine <laughs> and they would sell it to the tanneries because urine is a natural curative for hides. Yeah. So every no, time you put okay. on a leather jacket, yeah. you're covered in piss. Yeah. <laughs>